Hey everyone, it's Al with Bobcad. So today I wanted to take a look at a uh, using uh, surface-based uh, strategies and how that can help you with uh, uh, single surface or even multiple surface machining where you have holes. Uh, just the other day I did a video showing how to plug holes. Uh, in this particular drawing, uh, I have a, an advanced planar toolpath turned on, and as you can see, the tool is dipping down into the surface uh, where this uh, this hole is cut out, and we want to uh, eliminate that if uh, at all possible. Okay, so <clears throat> like we like I spoke about in the other video. Uh, fill holes I think it was called uh, if you've drawn the part within Bobcad you can go back to your CAD history tree you can suppress the feature then you can go ahead and reselect recompute now you'll see that the tool uh, goes right across that area okay and that's that's about the extent of tweaks that you have with uh, the advanced planer uh, when dealing with a, a single surface like this okay so now Let's look at what the advanced surfacing uh, options have available to us and how they may benefit for uh, machining a surface like this. So let's go ahead and load one up. Uh, this is mill multi-axis. We're going to do parallel cuts. We're going to use the same uh, uh, quarter inch ball mill. All right. So uh, our drive surface here is going to be this top surface just like that. And then um, tool axis control is going to be three axis, and we're going to just compute it the way that it is. Now, the first thing you're going to see is that for every link, when it goes to make the next pass, uh, that it's going to clearance, and then you're also seeing that it's um, it's going to, to clearance where this hole is. Okay. So when we get into the multi-axis strategies. Uh, under links, we have uh, different uh, areas that we can control, uh, entry and exit, gaps along the cut, uh, links between slices, links between passes. So the first thing we're going to look at is uh, links between uh, slices, so or you know every pass the tool makes, it links to the next one. Uh, so what do we want to do to do here? So for small moves, a uh, small move uh, would be 110% uh, of the cutter. This is direct, but you have all these different options. Direct, follow surface, blended spline, step, uh, go to feed, go to rapid, go to clearance, retract incremental clearance. So you have a bunch of different options, which really helps you optimize cutting strategies. Uh, in this case, we're going to do... Um, so we have direct here, okay, and if we look at our toolpath, you can see that these are these are going up higher, okay, so this is going to be the large moves, and this is retract to clearance area, okay. So in this case, we're going to say, um, you know, let's do something like retract to uh, rapid, and let's go ahead and recompute okay so you can see now with these they've dropped down lower okay so um, we're gonna go back and you know at first it may be like oh well what's going on here but we kinda wanna refine our, our strategy a little bit right now we're doing single direction cutting so let's go ahead and make this uh, let's make this uh, two-way cutting so we go to sorting cutting method instead of one way we're gonna make it zigzag and then we'll go ahead and recompute alright so now you can see that we have our links happening up at top so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back into this feature and then when we go to links instead of it uh, retract to rapid I'm gonna do blended spline and I'm gonna recompute this and what that's going to do is it's going to drop the linking down onto the edge of the surface and it's going to blend. Now that doesn't handle this hole here. Now I could go and suppress the, the hole feature like I had done before, but within multi-axis you have another group of options under linking, which is gaps along a cut. So you can have it do a direct for small gaps or large gaps right now it's set to retract to clearance. Okay, so we could do retract to feed distance and recompute. You can see how that drops this down closer to the part versus up here at the top. All right. Uh, the other thing we could do, which is what I want to do, is I could do, let's say, follow surfaces. 
So we'll go ahead and compute that. And now you can see how it's just cutting right across the top of that surface there. So I didn't need to fill the hole. I didn't need to uh, do anything other than adjust my linking. Okay. Now the other thing that I want to look at here is if we look at where this toolpath is being driven from, you know, you can see how it's going past the edge here. If we go to our advanced surfacing, you can see that, um, I'm sorry, the advanced planer, let me change the color of this. We'll make this um, orange. So you can see the orange, the orange toolpath ends right about here, but the green toolpath goes past the edge. And that's because the advanced surfacing will uh, go to the uh, tangency point of that cutter. So it, it does a more complete job of machining surfaces. Uh, you know, without having to extend uh, the edges of surfaces. But you do have some options in here as well when it comes to extending tool paths, which is another great feature of the advanced surfacing. Um, you can extend and trim your tool path. So this way, if you want the tool to um, uh, start off the edge of the part and finish off the edge of the part, you can just adjust that with the extend and trim. And, and this just makes... Um, machining single surface or even more complicated surfaces uh, much easier giving you more options so again this is just another reason why if you machine uh, 3d parts in your shop uh, the advanced surfacing package offers a lot of control and options that allows you to attack jobs uh, you know that normally you could still machine but you'd, you'd have to jump through some hoops um, this just gives you more options to make it quick and easy to at attack simple and even complex jobs. So uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, or feedback, please reply back to the Facebook, the YouTube, or whatever thread this video may be posted in. Uh, if you like the video, let's get a thumbs up, and you can always uh, comment below uh, in the video. And uh, other than, otherwise than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much.